Okay, everybody, this is a tutorial to show you how to um, find, download, uh, and, and, and use materials uh, inside of Cinema 4D. So websites like Cinema 4D Center, um, there's a couple other ones, Texture Haven, uh, have a variety of free materials, and these are kind of like extruded, kind of three-dimensional uh, materials. And I'm going to show you how to download and use them. Um, so I'm going to assume that that you've downloaded them uh, or you've found and downloaded some. Um, this is what they would look like uh, if you download and unzip it. Um, you know, these are all individual files, uh, materials. And the way they are organized is that they come in a Cinema 4D project file. Uh, and then they have the texture maps. All of these are what give these materials kind of their color, their texture. Uh, you can see they're labeled uh, Carpet 8 Ambient Occlusion, Carpet 8 Base Color, Carpet 8 Height, Carpet 8 Normal, and Carpet 8 Roughness. Uh, and what I've come to discover is that if you open it uh, directly like this, uh, it will uh, open fine. So let's, let's take, for example, um, sometimes they're like in folders, their texture materials are... Uh, the text uh, texture layers are in individual uh, in, in, in a folder uh, and you can um, let's try to open this one uh, double click it and immediately it opens up a project file and the only thing that you're going to find in this project is the material uh, and so this is what we want uh, I'm going to show you if I open up this material double click it open it uh, you can see the different channels that it is using. It's using the color. Uh, and right here you can see that the material, that the image that is referencing, it's called Stylized Wall Rock uh, Base Color PNG. And here it is. Uh, it's, also using the it's also using the diffusion channel. And you can see that it is here. The reflectance channel. Um, you can see when you, whenever you see a word uh, bolded, that means that it's using that channel within uh, the reflectance. And you see there's an image there. Uh, let's check the metallic. It's not being used. Uh, if we go to the normal channel, this is all good. It's in there. The displacement channel also. So this material imported well. It opened OK. All the texture maps uh, are found and it's going to display correctly. So let's add an object. Um, not a cube, but a sphere. Um, and here it is. I'm going to increase the geometry so that we have a smoother, um, um, so the material can be displayed correctly. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I have a sphere in my scene and I have my material. So here it goes. I'm going to apply it to the sphere. Um, and there it is. Um, let me zoom out a little bit and then hit a quick render. Okay, so this, um, it looks like the material applied, but it doesn't look quite right. It looks kind of flat. Uh, and what Cinema 4D wants, or what the material wants, is to be able to edit the, the sphere. It wants to push the surface up and down. Uh, that is uh, the displacement channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my material and make sure that the displacement channel, uh, the sub-polygon displacement is checked. Uh, and that the height has, um, you know, a, 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 a you know a, a certain amount that needs to be, uh, you know, that it'll go up. The height will 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 increase by three centimeters. Okay, so this looks good. So the the only other problem that can be is that this this sphere needs to be editable. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the sphere go over to this um, make editable button uh, and click it and now we should be able to uh, see the the material displace the sphere so i'm going to go to the quick render and there it is if you look along the edge it's being extruded i'm going to exaggerate here uh, and go to the displacement channel and i'm going to tell it displace it by 10 centimeters Okay, and now if we hit quick render, now you can see that it's really extruding um, the surface. Uh, now, keep in mind that this will 
uh, slow down your render or it will extend your render time. So um, just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, another way that we can import materials, these downloaded materials, uh, is to merge. So let's say you're already working on a project and you download uh, some materials and you want to use them. Um, so let's say, you know, you have another sphere. I'm going to duplicate the sphere. Um, oops. Right here. And I want another material on it. Something that I'm going to import. So this guy is ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Merge, uh, meaning I'm going to merge a project file with the, with the, with the material. So I'm going to go to, I don't know, um, there's a bunch of them that I have here. Uh, let's bring in like cement too. Uh, and it's got its texture, um, uh, image maps. And I'm going to bring in the project. And here it is. Uh, okay. Here's a good example of what can happen sometimes. Uh, the material opened. It imported uh, into Cinema 4D, but if I look at the color channel, it's telling me here that it, it can't find the image for the base color. It can't find the uh, roughness um, image texture map. The normal is also missing and the displacement is missing. What we're going to do is we're going to tell Cinema 4D where it is. <clears throat> and so over here, we can see that the name of the file is Cement 2 Base Color PNG. So I'm going to click here on these three little dots and I'm going to navigate to where I have that folder, that those files. Um, and so if I look here, base color, uh, base color PNG, this is it. So I'm going to tell it, open it. Uh, it's asking you, if it's asking us if we want to make a copy, let's tell it no, just, just reference it. Um, I'm going to go to the reflectance channel. Uh, and again, the roughness here is missing. Remember, if it's bolded, it means it's being used. So it's missing the cement to roughness PNG. So I'm going to click these three little dots uh, and look for the roughness uh, image. And right here, it's right here. Click open. No here. Normal. I'm going to click uh, for to find the normal. Uh, and it's usually this little purple looking image. Click open. Uh, no, and then the displacement channel. Remember, this is the one that kind of extrudes the geometry. Uh, it's it's the height channel, um, and here it is, the height, right here, uh, and click open, and no, and now uh, you can see that all of these are complete. Um, we're ready to use this material. All of these uh, have been found and replaced. Okay, so now I'm going to apply this cement on this uh, sphere. And if I hit quick render, uh, it should be, it should use it correctly. Uh, and now the surface of this, uh, if you exaggerate the, the displacement, then it's going to look weird. The cement, you cement usually is a pretty flat surface. Uh, it just has these kind of little details. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. They're very small details, and I'm going to open it up so that we can see how much the displacement. Uh, so it's, it's displacing it by not even one centimeter, um, which is fine. Uh, like I said, this, these are usually pretty um, flat. I'm going to go like one. Click close and then extrude it. Uh, and you can see that it's it's extruding this geometry. It's giving us a really a nice texture, kind of realistic texture. Uh, but remember, keep it keep it on the on the lower side, uh, so that you don't um, extend your render your render time. And that's it. That's how you use materials uh, in Cinema 4D. Um, you know, both instances um, um, will will work.